All right, today we're here with the man behind the tech, Sergio Brugleri, the CTO of Genius AI. Let's get straight to the point. Sergio, is Genius AI a ChatGPT wrapper? Okay, when we talk about ChatGPT, we have to make a distinction between general artificial intelligence and domain-specific artificial intelligence. Genius AI uses an ensemble of generative AI models, which includes closed source, open source technology. And basically what we've done is we fine tuned and prompt engineer these models to make sure that they are actually good at sales and marketing, okay? Yes, you can use ChatGPT to do your sales and marketing, absolutely. As, and ChatGPT is good as a, as a multitude of things, but it's not specialized in sales and marketing. What we've done when crafting the product was not only choosing an ensemble of generative AI models and A-B test it to make sure it was perfect and using the right models with the right settings and the right parameters for sales and marketing, but also what we've done is we have taken multiple um, formulas that include the personality of the user, the, what we call the product avatar, and all of this comes together into a unique user experience that allows this ensemble of generative AI models not only to generate compelling text, and so copy, social media post, you knows everything about your product, but also generate, generate imagery about those products and an imagery that you can post on social media that looks insanely good when compared, for example, to a model like DALI. How would you explain what an ensemble is? So basically what we do is Genius AI is a very comprehensive product. You know, it has a CRM, it has a DM copilot, it has different formulas, you know, the build your brand, post your product and talk to people. Um, and the reality is certain foundational models like Claude, G GPT-4, GPT-3 are extremely good at specific tasks, but not at other tasks. So when you're putting the models in an ensemble, it's like an orchestra, right? You create this beautiful harmony, this beautiful composition that basically allows us to use each model at what they're best, right? And so that's what we're doing at Genius AI. And not only we're doing it in English, but we're doing it in multiple languages. We have a full version of the product in Japanese that has been uh, reinforced by using human feedback from Japanese local users. And we also have language variants of the model available in Italian, French, German, Spanish, and Vietnamese. And all of that is, uses the feedback from the user to improve these formulas and to, and to improve those behaviors over time. What would happen to a business who brought in a tool similar to this that wasn't an ensemble? That's a really good question. So supposedly you're using ChatGPT. OpenAI has very good APIs. First of all, there is a big problem, which is hallucinations, right? And what hallucinations are, are basically the model is just maybe starts talking about your product, but it does claims that aren't real for what that particular product does, which is a big problem for associations like the FTC, for example, mm -hmm. right? So there are those risks, as well as um, at Genius, we don't use any data about your products or about your personality or about your social media um, to train our model. So that data never becomes foundational to our models to train itself. But what we do is we have an open feedback system where you can give a thumbs up and thumbs down and only that material is used then to fine tune the models as well as our product. So the risk there is security as well as um, just legal, right? If, if someone, says something about your product that is not real, that's a big risk you have to deal with. Not to talk about the fact that I'll, since the technology is very open, like if you take ChatGPT, is very open, you need to keep improving that technology over time, right? OpenAI releases new versions, right? Cloud um, updates over time. And what happens with that, if you are not up to those advancement, you risk that the model underperforms because again, it's a general model, it's not specialized for sales and marketing. So OpenAI or Anthropic don't test it only on that real, but they test it on a number of, of domains. What happens is you might get degraded performance over time, as well as an higher risk of things like hallucinations. But we are specialized on sales and marketing. We control our space, ensuring that our 
the least amount of hallucination as possible, if not zero hallucinations. And within that environment, we also optimize it for other languages, which doesn't mean only, okay, yes, the model sounds Italian, but it also connects to the Italian audience. It makes cultural reference that help that audience connect to your product. What's the deal with data compliance? I know a lot of our enterprise clients, this is very important to them. Data security, data compliance. How has Genius AI adopted that? So I come from the AI space. So for me, it was extremely important to start with that we would have a transparent pipeline of how the data gets collected, how the data gets um, triaged. What before. does that mean you came from the AI space? So I've built data pipelines for a lot of Fortune 500 companies for a living, right? <laughs> Which means the, the process that controls the data that gets into the model, right? How does that the data gets collected? How does it get annotated? Which is pretty much the process of letting the AI understand this word means this and it's used in this way, right? Um, I, have a, I have experience in that. And for me, it was extremely critical as we built this product to make sure that this entire process was transparent and it was compliant uh, with regulations such as the GDPR, which is extremely stringent in Europe. And essentially what we do in, this, in, in the entirety of this process is not only ensuring that the process is transparent and it, we don't collect extra data, but the entire process is um, essentially pen tested. So a penetration test is essentially a process in which a third party tries to violate, violate our databases, our infrastructure to ensure that it's secure. We're doing this effort quarterly with a third independent party to ensure that the entire process is clean. And not only that, we might have heard on the news that recently a lawyer used ChatGPT to try and win a lawsuit and everything was just bogus. None, none of that made any sense. So what these pen testers also did is perform what is called red teaming, AI red teaming. So they tried to make the model hallucinate on purpose or say things um, about products that were untrue and made sure that the process won stable end to end and the model didn't go off, off the rails as, as was producing content. What are some of the other pieces that a tech team behind other enterprise companies would need to see or think would be important, do you think? Definitely API and integrations, right? At Genius AI, we have an extremely well-documented API uh, for one of our partners recently, we integrated direct scale and that process took only two weeks. Um, just setting up a few webhooks, just setting up a few API calls and we were ready to run. And in this entire process, not only we perform the deployment and the end-to-end -end testing, but we also ensure that from a security standpoint, that is, you know, all of the certifications are set up properly, that all of the exchange of data happens securely and we even have versions of Genius AI that can run behind your own firewall, behind your own network, in an intranet, even for high confidentiality environment. So the product was built in such a way that if you don't want to use our own server and our own deployment, that can be used directly behind your server, behind your network setup, and deployed with one click. So Genius's tech team is able to work with their tech team? Oh, absolutely. We'll work directly with your tech team, and we're really partner. You can almost consider as an extension of your existing team that will just help you make sure that Genius AI is deployed correctly within your infrastructure, following your IT regulations. And we have a team that has been doing this for a number of years, um, including you know going through the process of getting InfoSec compliance in a lot of these companies. Some of these companies that we work with have uh, what is called an InfoSec team, which is basically the team responsible for security in an organization. And we are able to work directly with those team to get uh, the compliance that they need, as well as for all of our enterprise customers, all of our penetration test reports, all of our security reports are widely available. They can request them and they basically get all of the documentation they need to make sure that what we're doing is compliant in terms of security, encryption, and all of that. And what type of enterprise teams is Genius AI most looking to partner with and work with? So really from an enterprise standpoint, it's teams that have either a large amount of sales reps and they need to basically increase, decrease their time to market in, in regards to 
getting sales out there, getting the product being sold. And you know, it's a process that is very tedious. I mean, I've worked for several enterprises and it might take one or two months to get a sales rep to actually understand all of the nuances about your product. With Genius AI, it's just one click. And, 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 and what we have in the roadmap to make that one click even, even faster is very exciting. What's the best way for them to start working with us? So really the best way to start working with us is going to genius.ai, compile our form, and we'll get in touch. And we have our chief product officer, Kinket Day, that is ready to roll. And as soon as he says, hey, Sergio, we have a customer and they want to start asking the hard technical question, are gonna be there supporting him, and we're ready to start rolling. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and click the contact us button to reach out to Kincaid and meet Sergio. We look forward to working with you. Something amazing about to happen. See you on the next side.